So you're thinking of quitting your job in 2021. Is it a good idea? I don't know. You're going to find out. Okay, so this is my specialty. This is what I help people do. I help people quit their jobs, start a business, and live a life of freedom and wealth. So, I'm an expert. I know what I'm talking about, and that's why you should listen to me right now. So listen up. If you're thinking of quitting your job in 2021, here's some practical things that you should get in place before you do. The first thing is, you have to count the cost. Anytime that you're thinking of making a big move like this, you've got to see how it affects you, not just financially, but how's it going to affect you emotionally? How's it going to affect you spiritually? How's it going to affect you physically, right? When you become an entrepreneur, you have to be self-disciplined. You have to know what to do and when to do it. And there's always going to be trade-offs. So you might be thinking, man, I work this corporate job and I don't have any freedom. Like I, I'm here every day from nine to five and I get two weeks of vacation and it's just sucks. Well, that might be the case, but it also sucks being an entrepreneur sometimes because everything stops with you. If you don't work, you don't make money. So the reality is when you're first starting your business, you don't get a lot of vacation. You don't have a lot of free time. And when you do have free time, that means you're not making any money. So there's always going to be trade-offs. However, I can tell you that having your own business is way better than work for someone else. So just count the costs. Okay. The next thing you want to look at is can I afford to? And the reality is you're never gonna be ready to do this, but you've gotta have a plan. You've gotta know where's your money coming from. You gotta know how you're gonna get the work, how you're gonna get the contracts, how you're gonna get the jobs, how you're gonna sell those products that you wanna sell. How are you gonna make it happen? And you don't need to have everything figured out, but you do need to have some ducks in a row. So start thinking about can I afford to do this? What's my plan? How much money am I spending every month? And cut back on everything that you're spending and live broke. When you're starting your business, you're going to want the most money you can in order to get that business off the ground. So if you're in a job right now and you've got a lot of monthly expenses, start cutting those things back and live broke because it's going to make being an entrepreneur a lot easier. Okay. The next thing I would say is don't make excuses. It's always easy to sit there and say, one day I'll do it. Whenever I get this bonus check from this job, I'm out. I get this bonus, and then you get the bonus check and you're like, man, I want another one. After I'm done with this vacation, I'm out, gone. And then the vacation comes and then you find another excuse. At some point, you've got to make the leap and you've got to do it. So the first things I've talked about is count the cost and put the plan together. But at some point, you've got to have the courage to make the leap. And this is the hardest part because you're going to get a lot of pushback from your friends. You're going to get a lot of pushback from your family. And even in your own head, you're going to be thinking, oh my gosh, am I, is this really what I'm doing? This is so stupid. Because the reality is you're doing something that's harder than what most people ever have to deal with. And that's the final point is quitting your job and becoming an entrepreneur, you're gonna experience hard things and that's a rite of passage. So if you're experiencing resistance, if you feel uncomfortable, if you feel like you're doing something stupid, you probably are, but that's gonna lead to really good things in the future, right? So it's a rite of passage. If you're feeling that way, good. That means you know you're going against the grain. So put a plan together, cut back on expenses, look at what you're going to do, and ultimately just make the jump. There's no better time to do it than right now. Hey, before you go, hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Let's go.